Uppercut, uppercut, Sonic Boom! Well, hello there, humans, hippies, earthlings. Whoever you are, you little grubs, uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough, indeed, to be doing it too, this is the ProJet 065. Weird one. Um, it's a tank that I just hadn't had. Uh, I've started using all the extra credit stuff and extra XP stuff I have on my own account uh, and grinding out some of the lines that I really should have a long time ago. Especially considering that I loved the standard B in this line. The Progetto. Uh, I'm going to run you through a few games. Uh, one of them is with Mr. Ouija. He's making a return to the channel. Uh, the big Azza. Uh, the Melbourneian Mighty. And it's it's odd to me because I've actually played a lot of Caro 45T on my press account. And the Caro is... I think it's a better tank than the Progetto. I prefer it. And I, I actually struggled with the Progetto, not just that it only had three shells in the burst, but the Alpha was not as heavy as the Caro's Alpha because it's a 105 millimeter versus the 120 millimeter. And it's a very odd one to have the tech tree tank not be as good as the premium tank or the collector tank or whatever you want to call these tier 10s. Once upon a time, it would have been heresy to suggest that there was a tier 10 tank that was going to come out of a crate or could be bought in a shop. But we're well past that now. The overall DPM of the tanks is very strange. Um, the Progetto, for those of you who've been living, on, living under a rock, it has a auto-reloading magazine. And the key to the Progetto is juggling your DPM. You can dump it, but the first shell takes 4.4 seconds to reload. Okay? Uh, and you can probably see just from where I'm firing right here, there is a three second gap between each shell. And if you watch the mechanic, you'll see how it works. And you have to juggle your reload because once you go through all three shells, then you're on a longer reload. The more shells you fire, the longer the reload. See? Three seconds to get back to the start, and then it starts reloading. But if you're just dumping, it doesn't really matter. This is actually a pretty good game between uh, Azza and I here. He's in the IS-4, I'm running the Progetto, and we just grind out a very nice little victory here. And you can see how long that shell is taking to reload. And then you get to the final shell, and it takes 4.3 seconds. So those numbers again, seven seconds, basically, on your third shell that you fire, 5.3 seconds on your second shell, and 4.4 seconds on your first. That means you've got to really juggle your DPM because you don't want to get stuck into a brawl where you are constantly reloading the last shell at 7.1 seconds and then a three second gap after you fire it. So it's about juggling that DPM. And what the Caro has is the ability to dump higher alpha shells, but you can dump four of them. Now, obviously, it's got the broken 20.4 reserve shell mechanic, they call it. So you go from that same numbers on the first three shells, but if you fire the fourth, you're offline for 20 seconds. Okay, that's a long, long time. The Caro also isn't as nimble as the Progetto. And it's, it's funny, it's like... Two tanks that do kind of the same thing, but have very different looks and very different mobility profiles. This is a great situation to be in the Progetto instead of the Caro. The Progetto has both better uh, speed, flat out, 58 versus 52, I think it is, and much better, oh wow, that was a nice bounce to get, wasn't it? Much better, uh, and there we go, there's the, the unnecessary third shell, doesn't get used, uh, and it, it has better terrain resistance numbers. So it's getting more out of its engine and its tracks than the uh, Caro. But it doesn't get nearly as many bounces despite what you just saw there. The turret on the Caro does have certain parts that are big time uh, bounces uh, as opposed to the turret on the Progetto which doesn't really have any parts that are big time bounces. In terms of the aesthetics of the thing and the look of the thing, I really, really love the, the Caro. Um, I wanted to get it and I wanted to get that glitch camo and I spent a lot of coins on my personal account and didn't get it. And I was a little bit bummed, but you know, I've got a, I've got a press account. I can go and play that if I want. But I've said this before. It's very, very weird the way it feels like 
fake gaming when you're playing the press account versus the way it feels like just an absolute you get the same rush all the time when you're playing your personal account and it's pretty obvious when you're running tanks to grind credits and to try and get win rate and to it just becomes a more fun thing back to the progetto as the tier 10 i don't think it's an incredibly strong tank anymore there was a time when it first came out where there weren't the same abundance of auto reloading tanks hell you now have heavies that have the auto reloading mechanic in spade the italians the Kranwagens. it's 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 not just a single progetto trick like it used to be it's now something that is very very common um that being said would i advise that this is the strongest tank in the line uh, for me it was a standard b and a lot of people don't love the standard b but i really really enjoyed the standard b and that's probably a little bit odd for some of you uh but the progetto for me comes up against tougher competition more often and i just feel like it's a little bit it's not cheating but it's 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 a good tank but i just get upset with it that there's a better version of it for my money that you can get out of a box i mean it's a little bit it's a little bit weird they they haven't really changed anything they've just made the caro a progetto with an extra shot when you want it and i like having that option if i had to choose between the two tanks i would choose the caro is this worth grinding yeah hell yes because it is still a fun tank um and I think if you can play something like the Leo, you'll do great in this because it's got not as bad. Wow. Um, yeah, I forgot to mention um, the gun. The gun, the gun, the gun. 0 0.328 dispersion is not incredible, okay? It's good, but it's not incredible. And for some reason, I always seem to miss low in this tank. It, I, I don't know why. I miss low in the Progetto. And it's, it's really, really weird. Um, you can see me managing the reload here, going back to the other side and, uh, and working through this dump and then just backing off. And that's the perfect time for it. Uh, I'm waiting to try and track this guy. I was surprised he pushed all the way up here and I'm actually waiting for my reload to come back and then I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to hit this guy uh, and hope someone else who is around can also hit him. And that's exactly what happens. And we're waiting. And we're waiting. And there's a second shell. That's the kind of thing you've got to do. You've got to juggle your reload. I should have juggled it earlier. I would have been a lot better off. Because if you do that correctly, then you take less damage. You clear targets quicker. And taking less damage is pretty important when you're in a tank that doesn't have the kind of armor profile like a 62A or a WZ-121 as a medium. Or even an E50M where you can legitimately go hull down and jiggle and wiggle and you know grind out a couple of bounces oh well that guy has been quite the pain in my ass <laughs> at t110 e5 it's still a really good tank um it's it's still really good did you note too that i just left the 183 who i thought was afk alone because um you know not really the biggest problem in my world is an afk 183 uh someone else can kill him i'll just kill the guys who are actually shooting back anyway um i want to have a little chat to you too while i've got you here about what's going on with the channel at the moment i don't know if you've noticed but uh there's been a lot of content dropping it's it's been it's been dropping when it can if not super regularly at least semi-regularly and i've been live streaming all the time uh well twice <laughs> i've been live streaming on a wednesday evening in a time i've been playing on the north american server um i'm trying to focus more on just doing reviews of tanks because there are so so many to catch up on and it's not that i don't love playing i'm playing a lot and i'm doing pretty good uh with averaging good numbers on na and we're doing okay on asia i do get a little bit tired and grindy on asia like everyone knows what that's like but i'm enjoying the game 
I really am. Uh, I'm playing hundreds of games a week and I'm driving lots and lots of different tanks. Uh, there's a WZ-121 video coming out because obviously I've loved the WZ-120 and I'm absolutely loving the WZ-120, uh, the 121 as well. But if you have anything that you want to see, like if you have a particular theme that you'd like to know more about with regards to tanking, because let's be honest, I, I don't have the fastest fingers in the world. Most of what I get done, I get done with by just good positional play and living the life. And the other thing is, I don't play a lot of platoons. Um, that platoon you saw before is one of the rare occasions. For the most part, I will run solos. And I know there's a lot of people out there that do run platoons, and that's great. It's good fun. You should be running platoons. But don't come at me saying how good you are and all this shit when I look and there's you and some other purple win rate guy running tier 10 platoons of Piranha and Batchat, you know, with 90% of your games. Like, I'm sick of hearing from you guys. Stick it up your ass. Go and go and I just don't care enough about win rate to do stuff like that. But don't get me wrong, I did once when I used to run double T54 with Snake Eyes. <laughs> and he'd load 30 rounds of heat. And uh we just have what you would call a competitive advantage. Uh because gold existed. Yeah, I I hope you guys are enjoying it. And please turn up to the live streams. They've been great fun lately. We've been having a good time. Nothing is crazier than the North American server. Um, back to Progetto. As you can see here, I'm trying to just keep the DPM rolling. And I'm doing that. I'm going to get in front of this guy to try and take some damage and help my boy. Because I want to have more than one tank out here on the flank alive. But he just comes out in front of me again. And uh, <laughs> it's frustrating when you try and do that. And they just still want to trade. I'm like, okay, dude, cool. Um, that's that's great. We could have done that, and we'd both have plenty of hit points, but at the end, it really didn't matter because we've got enough. Um, I'm going to leave you with that one. I would urge you to subscribe and like the channel. I've been doing a lot of stuff lately. It's not going to stop, and if you enjoy these reviews, please leave a comment letting me know what you want to see reviewed and I'll get to it. Until next time, boys and girls, look after yourselves, stay safe on the battlefield, and uh, bye for now. Actually, should we just let... I'll just... Let's just watch this. Let's watch this together. I forgot that I had so much Progetto footage. Oh, I just... Hello. Hello, my buddy. Still doing things. Yeah, this is a good game. We've really carried the flank. We've totally ruined the life of that poor little grub in the uh, 183. Am I going to master in this tank? Is this a mastery? No, there's not enough not enough damage left on the table for this to be a mastery. And uh, we really needed to let that second shell reload there, but we didn't. Oh, and that's, that's, yeah, that's bad shell management. Bad management. Nuking your own DPM and then missing the shot. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Give him two. There we go. One pussycat. Two pussycat. I don't know what that E75 is doing. He's a special grub, but he's doing it. Oh, we've missed again. Yeah, this this isn't a mastery. <laughs> I'm pretty certain this isn't a mastery. Au revoir, amigos. Look after yourselves.